The AA-5 speeder truck is a heavy armored vehicle for the Rebel Alliance. Like many of the Rebel Alliance's vehicles, this truck has been repurposed from civilian to military use. Its rugged construction and spacious third row seating makes it ideal as a combat transport. It has a speed of one, but with a large vehicle base, I wouldn't underestimate just how quickly a pack of unruly Wookiees can be transported across the battlefield. This vehicle also has 8 health, armor, and rolls white defense dice with surge to defend, and has the latest side impact airbags and child safety features, so you better believe it will be tough to wipe off the soccer field. I mean battlefield. Okay, in all seriousness, it's a minivan, but the minivan puns are over, because playing as or against rebels will never be the same again. This thing comes with three new pilots, including a field commander. There are two crew spots, one heavy weapon hardpoint, and a communication slot. In this first video, we're going to run through the abilities printed on the main card only. Then in a second video, we will break down the upgrade cards and pilot abilities. Armor is a keyword which means while a unit is defending, it cancels all normal hit results. Keep in mind that attackers modify their dice first with the keywords like Impact, X, and Critical X, which means they can convert their hits to crits before you can cancel them with armor. Let's take a look at that in action. In this example, our rebel player is trying to quickly deploy a squad of fleet troopers behind enemy lines. As they are speeding across the battlefield, they trigger the standby of a nearby stormtrooper unit. After the rebels end their movement within range 2 of the stormtroopers, the bucketheads may choose to either make a free move or a free attack action against an eligible target because of their standby token. The stormtroopers choose to attack the mystery machine and roll 5 hits. Because the DLT trooper has impact 1, and attackers modify their dice first, one of the hits is converted into a critical hit. The AA-5's armor cancels all of the remaining regular hits. The rebel player rolls one white defense die against the one critical hit and receives their first wound. Then they continue their activation. There are two types of vehicles in Legion, repulsor vehicles and ground vehicles. The AA-5 is a special type of repulsor vehicle that is treated as a ground vehicle by other units because of the hover ground keyword. All types of vehicles can pivot, meaning that a speeder bike, a gav tank, and a speeder truck can all use one action to pivot 90 degrees in any direction. That's an easy one. By definition, repulsor vehicles cannot reverse or stand by, however the hover ground keyword allows the speeder truck to do both. That's reverse and standby. Seriously, why didn't they just call it a ground vehicle? Ground vehicles also block line of sight, and because the AA-5 is treated as a ground vehicle by other units, it can provide cover to units hiding behind it. All hover ground vehicles provide heavy cover. To add to the confusion, although the name of this unit is Speeder Truck, it does not have the Speeder keyword. So it's not a Speeder, and I'm doing air quotes. FFG, why do you do this to us? So because it's not actually a Speeder unit, it doesn't have to perform a compulsory move, and it is not able to move over terrain over the height of 1. Instead, it is allowed to move over and on top of any terrain that is equal to or less than its own height, just like any other ground unit. Let's look at an example. The Imperial Special Forces have descended on the speeder truck. The truck has a disrupted weapon and it cannot go forward over the tall building because it is a ground vehicle. Furthermore, because it can only move speed 1, it would be able to outmaneuver the enemies, and I'm not talking about the keyword outmaneuver, even though that would be very useful right now. The reckless driver realizes that the vehicle itself is the best weapon and decides to attempt an escape through the enemy unit. And this time I am referring to the pilot reckless driver because it makes this example way more complicated but a lot cooler. After resolving the pilot prerequisites, it uses its first action to pivot into position and then performs a reverse action, moving through the enemy unit and displacing them. 
In a nutshell, the enemy player makes a speed one movement out of the way of the vehicle and places the rest of the troopers in cohesion. They gain a suppression due to being displaced, and because the AA-5 has the reckless driver pilot, after she displaces an enemy unit, you may roll a white defense die for each mini in the unit, causing one wound for each block result. The reckless driver causes two wounds. I know, that was a really complicated example showing that this thing can move forward, backward, and pivot. And if you're wondering why the driver spent an action to pivot even though it has reposition, we're going to explain that right now. Reposition is a keyword that allows a unit to perform a free pivot before or after a standard move. Remember that pivot is a non-standard move action that allows a model with a notched base to rotate up to 90 degrees in either direction. It's round 6 and the Rebel Hoopty needs to get to the key position at the center of the battlefield. Because it is disabled, it must spend both its actions to make a standard move and it wouldn't be able to get there following the small movement tool. Luckily with reposition it can perform a free pivot, correcting its course and ending its activation on the key position and scoring the last victory point needed to win the game. That is right. This game was won because the speeder truck had reposition. I'm serious people, this is how it happens. Keep in mind that any vehicle can perform a pivot as a movement action. Reposition just allows you to do so for free as a bonus for moving. Also, a reverse strafe or pivot is not a standard move, so it does not trigger a reposition. Standard moves are only speed X moves and compulsory moves. Alright people, we know why you're all here, but we're going to demonstrate the basic rules for closed transport vehicles, not discuss every single scenario using every type of unit. This is a basic learning channel. I'm sure that Team Relentless will have a video that discusses all the cool stuff you can do with this unit and ways to break the meta with it. You should check them out, they are awesome, and tell them we sent you. Okay, Kyle, roll that title sequence again and we will get to it. Transport is a keyword that allows a vehicle to transport friendly units around the battlefield. Because the AA-5 speeder truck has transport 1, it is allowed to transport one friendly unit at a time. One unit. A unit of rebel troopers can consist of up to six trooper models. A unit of Jin Urso consists of one Urso model. Let's take a look at that. Jin's Uber has arrived, and because the vehicle base is within a speed one of the unit leader, Jin can spend her entire activation to get into the back seat and explain to the driver where she's going even though he has all of that information on the app already. For closed transport vehicles, it takes an entire activation to embark. For open transports, it's just one action. As a unit performs an embark action, they get a speed 1 move as part of the action. So as long as the unit leader is within speed 1 of the transport base, the unit can successfully embark. Also, a unit keeps all of their tokens as they embark. A unit still has an activation every round while it is being transported and it can be issued or issue orders. However, when being transported in a closed transport, the only action a unit can choose to take is disembark. To do so, it may spend one action to disembark placing its base in contact with the transport's base, and then performing up to a speed 1 movement. A transported unit has no effects on game objectives. If a vehicle base is in contact with an objective, the transported unit is not in base contact, or within range 1, or whatever the objective is. And a unit carrying an objective token is not allowed to embark or disembark, so don't even think about loading that hostage or bomb into the van even though that would be so cool. But let's look at a different way this can play out. The AA-5 speeder truck pulls up next to the rebel hostage and liquidates the death troop. The imps are unable to get the hostage with their next activation, so the rebel troopers that are being transported activate and use one action to disembark, placing their unit leader within speed one of the vehicle's base. 
The rebel troopers are placed in base contact with the hostage, and they use their second action to claim the objective. Now that was an extreme example. Extremely awesome. But I know most people want to roll up in a dark alley and jump some unsuspecting stormtroopers with a gang of Wookiees. Unfortunately, you cannot place a unit that has just disembarked within base contact of an enemy unit. Luckily, Wookiees have the charge ability, so they still get to punch in with their second action. <laughs> While a unit is in a closed transport, they do not receive wounds from enemy attacks, but if the transport is destroyed, they get knocked around a little bit. This round, the Imperial player, exuberant with joy and disbelief at the fact that he has a shot lined up with the HH-12, fires on the damaged speeder truck. <laughs> Final two damage go through and the truck is destroyed. Ah! The rebel unit being transported places its unit leader in base contact with the destroyed vehicle and takes one suppression and one wound before the vehicle is removed. Your friend's girlfriend that didn't even pay for the ride immediately gets out her phone and leaves the driver one star. A few other things to remember about transported units is that they still can gain but they can't spend tokens while being transported. They also may issue orders, but cannot attack while being transported. Anytime distance needs to be measured from the transported unit, it is done so from the host vehicle's base. This includes command range and courage checks. Cassian has gained an aim and a dodge token while being transported. Because distance is now measured from the base of his transport, K2SO is in range and gains the same tokens via teamwork. In this example, he wouldn't have been in range from Cassian himself, but technically the minis don't get transported physically, they are just placed on the card of the transport vehicle. I just put Cassian in here to emphasize the point. So that should be enough info for you to be able to make informed decisions about using transportation, but keep in mind there are three pages of rules regarding this, so there are still some nuances and goofy keyword rules so read through the RRG carefully. Take notes, make flashcards, whatever works best for you. Some vehicles are less armored in certain places. In the case of the AA-5 speeder truck, it has a vulnerable backside. Weak point rear means that if an attacking enemy unit leader is in their rear firing arc of the AA-5's base, the enemy gains impact X to its attack pool where X is the value of the weak point keyword. So because the AA-5 has weak point 2, two regular hits coming from its rear firing arc would be converted into two critical hits, maximum. The speeder truck is being pursued through the alley by a team of scout troopers on speeder bikes. They fire on the escaping truck and roll four hits. Because the speeder bikes each already have impact one, they can each convert one hit into a critical hit because they are attacking a vehicle with armor. But because they are also in the AA-5's rear firing arc, they can convert an additional two hits from the attack pool into critical hits because the AA-5 has weak point rear two. All four of the speeder bikes hits are converted into crits, which means the AA-5 must roll against them. And because Rebel's only defensive tool are snowballs, they roll blanks, and the speeder truck is vaporized. That's it for the basics of the AA-5 speeder truck. We will be releasing a separate video on the upgrade cards, including the pilots and weapons made available in this expansion, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. Thanks for watching this breakdown of the AA-5 speeder truck, and as always, may the force be with you.